So Kings in Thai is a fully online school. Uh, by that, we mean that we deliver all of our lessons online uh, from fully qualified teachers to students all around the world. Um, we begin in year three and we go all the way through to year 13. So it's a, a full curriculum offer. We teach a British curriculum and we deliver that to students in the UK and all around the world. Um, in terms of the, the sort of approach that we take, it's very much informed by research, very much informed by technology, but it's also very much informed by care and community. And we, we do all aspects of schooling, uh, but just in the online setting. So a, a really important thing for us is the quality of teaching that we deliver. Um, and we deliver really high quality teaching by having expert teachers. Those teachers are all fully qualified, uh, for, for teaching in physical settings, but also qualified to teach online. Uh, they're all subject specialists, so they'll, they'll be an expert in the subject knowledge that's required for, for the given subject they're teaching. And in primary, we have class teachers, just as you would do in a physical school, who take students for the majority of their timetable and build those strong bonds with them. The benefits of online schooling are quite diverse and um, it really depends on, on a particular family and their need. But if you just sort of think initially, flexibility is probably the single biggest benefit. Um, the fact that you can take your lessons with you wherever you are, if you're traveling, if you're, you're needing to attend something else during the day, the lesson goes with you. You're not sort of tied to a classroom and tied to a, a rigid timetable that can't flex around what's going on. So flexibility is a really big part of, of, of why families may choose online education. Alongside that, the flexibility kind of extends to breadth of curriculum. Because we're, we're an online school, we can afford to offer a wide range of subjects all the way through from primary to, to A-level and, and the IB diploma. We can offer a huge range of choice and families have much more kind of individual choice over which subjects they, they study. So we have a really diverse student community um, that extends both from the individual students themselves, the things that they're interested in, their skills, their passions, their talents, their geography, and they are worldwide. So the students themselves are very diverse, as are their reasons for, for joining an online school. So it could be anything from you know, being involved in elite sports and needing to, to fit school around their practice. Um, they might be involved in, in acting. We have professional actors and, and talented youngsters who are involved in the media um, and their commitments during the day need to be flexible around, around school as well all the way through to students that are traveling. So families that are, are kind of constantly on the move and uh, perhaps digital nomads or indeed spending big chunks of time in, in a couple of different locations and wanting that continuity of education for, for their children. Um, it is incredibly diverse student community and it's one of the most exciting things about the school because you come to your lesson, there's 20 students in a class and they can be absolutely anywhere in the world. And we've had students logging in from airport lounges to tops of mountains, the bottom of a ski slope was, was one a couple of weeks ago. Um, and it's just really exciting and it, it, it makes it a truly global community um, and the students get a huge amount from that. So from September 2023, we will have three time zones available for, for Kings Inns High. We've got the UK based time zone. We have a Gulf Standard Time time zone and we're launching an Asia Pacific time zone as well. So students can join their lessons live at the appropriate time of day for them um, and, and access their learning wherever they are in the world. It's been an absolute privilege to bring the IB Diploma Programme online. It's a fantastic curriculum. And if you haven't already looked at the IB Diploma, it is definitely worth a look. It's a challenging curriculum. It's absolutely um, considered to be one of the best university pathway curriculums um, because of the breadth of study that students have. But bringing it online has opened it up to a whole new group of students who just couldn't access it. It's been fantastic to work with the IB themselves um, on designing and developing how we take it online. Um, and we've got a fantastic cohort of students who are working through the first year of it this year. It's only going to grow as a curriculum because it offers the breadth of choice, the, the personal and, and sort of wider development for the students through the CAS or the extended essay or the theory of knowledge components. Um, and it also is, is just an incredibly enjoyable experience. So uh, yeah, real privilege to, to have brought that online and opened it up to families that don't have a good IB school near them. 
Um, by being an online school since 2005, there's been an awful lot of time to understand what it is about online learning that works and what it is that's difficult. And what the two sort of difficulties, socialization and community, absolutely important and, and things that really need to be focused on so that online learning doesn't become isolating and, and something where either families or students themselves feel disconnected. Um, obviously, one of the things you miss is that sort of school gates kind of uh, that you have when you, you turn up, see other families, uh, talk about what's going on and, and, and so forth. So we've found ways to replicate those experiences, um, whether it's by having kind of closed social media groups for all of our families so they can talk about school issues and, and, and communicate that way. We actually do have physical meetups. Families um, will sort of share their location. We have kind of small communities in most countries and in most areas. Um, and families can get together. We see students sometimes studying together and, and families are going on social events. And we run trips and events for students as well. So we, we do have a, a good way of, of making those connections. And from a student perspective, what, one of the really interesting things that we have is a really rich co-curricular offer. So friendships are really important in any school setting. And, and obviously, if a young person is perhaps traveling or is, is abroad for, for a reason and, and needs to, to access their learning, one of those things that can be tricky is that sort of social group around them of peers. So right from the get go, when students join, we have an induction session that welcomes all of the new students together. And from that initial start, we buddy them up with other students to, to immediately make friends and to have a, a friendly face to, to get you through those first kind of um, nervy days of, of school. From that point on, lessons are incredibly welcoming and friendly. Um, teachers are, are incredibly um, sort of aware of the need to, to make these positive learning experiences for students as well. So there's a, a lovely atmosphere in lessons. But then we also have a full co-curricular program. Um, and in that program, we have clubs and societies. We run about 80 a week, um, different clubs that students can sign up to. They're all included in, in the school. They're not additional um, cost. Um, and students go to those and the offer for the clubs changes termly um, and it's actually based on what students request so if a, a particular group of students have got a real interest or a passion they can ask for that club to be created and one of our staff will will gamely um, put that club on and, and get it going and there's a, a huge range as you can imagine all the way through from sort of online very typical things like perhaps minecraft club through to kind of horse riding um, is, is a club that, that we, we run as well. And students um, get there to discuss uh, their horses and everything about, about the care and, and sort of competitive aspect of, of that. So um, clubs and, and friendships are a really, really well served part of, of the online offer. So in an online setting, obviously pastoral care is, is perhaps even more important than in a physical setting because as, as teachers and professionals, we have to be absolutely trained to spot any difference in a child's behaviour being online. Of course, we have slightly less visibility of the children. We don't see them in person. So from a safeguarding perspective and from a health and welfare perspective, our staff are incredibly well trained and alert to notice any difference in a student's well-being or demeanour. Even something as small as perhaps not participating as much in a lesson, seeming down, those things are taken really seriously. And we have a really good structure of pastoral staff who then are there to support, whether that's their form tutor, who's the kind of main point of contact for students and, and sort of is their, their go-to person for, for most problems. We have heads of year, just as you'd expect in a, in a physical school. And then we have heads of key stage who oversee the kind of each school within, within our, our overall main school. We do have a safeguarding team and we also offer really good advice and guidance to students. Um, sort of in a more broad setting as well, we have really good careers advice um, and sort of pathways support for students, whether that's getting excellent guest speakers in or having a sort of elite university programme for students to, to be supported with their Oxbridge applications. We, we really do sort of make sure that everything that you would hope and, and expect to see in a good physical school is, is available for students online. It's a huge benefit to be part of, of the Inspired Education Group, which is, is now 80 plus international schools all around the world um, and incredibly high standards and expectations for the students within those schools. As the online school within that group, we benefit from the excellent ideas and staff training that's shared, as well as the resources and approaches that, that happen in all of those schools. Um, a great example is the summer camps programme, which is open to our students. Um, fantastic summer opportunities for, for students all around the globe. But every aspect of, of this international network is, is something that we benefit from, whether it's doing Model United Nations and, and having students join in with students in Colombia, 
or, or if it's, you know, sort of the, the trips and, and societies that go on. But it's a, a really dynamic and exciting group to be part of. And uh, we benefit massively from that.